Hi everyone. In this session, we are dealing with how to find the value of k, which means rate constant, and how to calculate the half life of zero order reaction. You know, it's a very important theory and uh, derivation. Definitely, they will ask question from this area, zero order reaction and first order reaction for their k value calculation, which means rate constant and t half, half life calculation. So the derivation is important, even graphical representation also important. Let's go for that. So let me consider, dear all, a reaction R gives P, which means R is the reactant and P is the product. That's it. Let me write the rate of this reaction. Okay, what do you mean by rate of a reaction? Rate means speed of the reaction. How can you express this rate of a reaction? We can express the rate of a reaction in terms of reactant. How, how much reactants consumed with a time? Yes, how much reactant consumed during a reaction with a time? Or you can say in terms of product. How, how much product form within a time? Correct? So here I'm saying the rate of the reaction, which means speed of the reaction in terms of reactant that I can represent as minus dr divided by dt. What is the symbol negative? We are all during a chemical reaction, reactant concentrations are decreasing and product concentrations are increasing. Yes or no? The decreasing the concentration of reactant is expressed by the symbol minus. If in terms of product, if you're writing, we'll write plus because it's forming. Okay. So minus, what do you mean by dr? Change in concentration of reactant with time. So dr by dt is the rate of the equation. Okay. And rate of a reaction, what is rate to low? We studied rate equation. Rate is equal to rate constant k into the reactant. What is the reactant? R. And it is a zero order reaction. So what should be the power of this concentration? Zero. You know what is mean by order of a reaction, right? It is a sum of the powers of the concentration term. So this is the starting. All of you, we are taking the reaction R gives P, where R is the reactant and P is the product. How can you write the rate of this reaction? Minus dr by dt equal to rate constant k into reactant to the power 0. Why power 0? Because it is a zero order reaction. Now let's start our derivation. A small derivation and easy. In all these, uh, in, in, in this uh, class or in this lecture, I will tell you the complete idea about the graphical representation, half-life, every calculation. Listen all of you carefully. Here, I'm making a small rearrangement here. I can write this reaction as minus dr divided by dt is equal to k into what is r to the power 0? r to the power 0 is equal to 1, right? So that's equal to k. Now, let me write dr is equal to from this equation, what is dr? dr is equal to, let me bring minus here, minus k into dt. All right, minus k into dt. Yes, done. Now we can integrate this equation. Now we are going to integrate this equation. So I can write integral of dr is equal to minus k. It's a constant, right? Constant, we can take it out. Integral of dt. All right, integral of dr is equal to minus k is a constant. Integral of dt. We have a general formula in integration. Integral of dx is equal to what? x. Integral of dx is equal to x. If so, what is integral of dr? r. Yes. So let me just take this equation, dear all. So integral of dr is equal to r. That is equal to minus k is a constant, dear all. And what is integral of dt? t. You know, after integration, we will get a constant, right? That is called integral constant c. Are you clear this step? So we wrote this rate equation and we just make a, a small integration. We got it r is equal to minus kt plus c. Clear all of you? Now, after getting that c, what is c? Integral constant. We have to find the value of c. If you want to find the value of c, we are taking some assumption that is at time equal to zero. What is time zero means? We are starting a reaction. When we starting a reaction, what we have? Initial concentration of the reactant, right? When I'm starting, suppose I have 100 gram of calcium chloride. Yes, so it's a beginning. I'm starting the reaction. Time zero means I'm starting. What I have? Initial amount of the reactant. 
So at a time 0, what is the concentration of reactant that is equal to R0? R0 mean initial concentration. Why we are taking this assumption? To calculate the value of C. Substitute T equal to 0, R equal to R0 in this above equation. What it become dear all? R becomes R0 minus K into time is 0. So it will be 0 that is equal to C. So we got the value of C. C is equal to what? R0. Substitute this value of C in this equation. So what this equation become? R is equal to minus KT plus what is C now? R0. Clear all of you? This equation is very important. This is your graph. This is in the format of a straight line. What is equation? Y is equal to mx plus c. You know it's an equation for a straight line, right? Let's draw the graph. Dear all, in the graphical representation, they will ask you what is on x-axis, y-axis, what is the slope, etc. Careful. What is on y-axis, dear all? R. Y-axis you have concentration of reactant. What you have on x-axis? Time. All right. What is the slope of the line M minus K? Slope of the line is minus. So slope of the line, what is this? This is the slope of the line that is equal to minus K. What is C is called Y-intercept? Y-intercept is what? R0. This distance is what? That is a Y-intercept that is equal to R0. So graph also ready. Clear all of you? So we integrated the equation and we made a graph. Now, but I told you what is the purpose of this derivation? We want to get the value of K. K means rate constant and half-life T half. All right. I already you derived the expression, right? R equal to minus KT plus R naught. You make a equation in terms of K. So I'm just rearranging this equation. What we can write here all uh, R is equal to minus KT plus R naught. Let me bring this KT left side. So KT is equal to Okay, bring this R, R here. So it will be R naught minus R. Yes. So what is K? K is equal to R naught minus R divided by T. This is the equation for rate constant K for a zero order reaction. So what is the equation all of you? K is equal to R naught minus R whole divided by time. What do you mean by R naught? Initial concentration of the reactant. What is R? The concentration of the reactant at a time t or final concentration and t is the time taken for the reaction. This is the equation for k we derived. One more theory is required. One more derivation. From this equation you can calculate what is the half life of that reaction. What do you mean by half life? Half life mean it is a time taken for an object to reduce its half of the initial amount. For example, if you have 100 gram substance initially, if it half of them decompose, what is left? 50 gram. That time taken is called what? T half, half life. It is a time taken for an object to reduce its initial amount by its half. Clear all of you? So this is half life. How to calculate half life from this equation? Very simple. If you want it. it what is C called here? Integral constant, right? In order to calculate integral constant, you consider two assumptions. What is that? At a time 0, R equal to R0. Similarly, in order to calculate half-life, I am taking two uh, assumptions. When time becomes half-life, means T half, what you can suggest for the concentration of R? When time becomes for example, I already told you 100 gram when it becomes 50 gram, that time is called what half life, right? 100 gram is the initial concentration, R0. 50 gram, can I write R0 divided by 2? Yes or no? When time becomes T half, your concentration of R changes to what? R0 by 2. Only half is left. Yes, that's what I need here. So I can take R is equal to R is equal to R0 divided by 2. Take T equal to T half and R equal to R naught by 2 substitute in this above equation. What this equation becomes dear all? K is equal to R naught, R naught itself minus. What is R changes to now? R changes to R naught divided by 2. The whole divided by T becomes what? T half. Yes dear all, simplify. So K is equal to, this is 2 R naught minus, right? 2 R naught minus R naught divided by 2 into t half. 
yes so k is equal to 2 r naught minus r naught is r naught divided by 2 into t half so what is the equation for half life t half is equal to r naught divided by 2k this is the integral or the equation for which one half life so for doing numerical these two equations we should know that directly so k is equal to r naught minus r divided by t whereas half life t half is equal to r naught divided by 2k this is the equation for which one zero order reaction hope you clear how to derive the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction what is the purpose of this derivation dear all to calculate the value of rate constant and half life and the graphical representation Clear all of you? So this is the half-life and the K calculation for zero order. Next video, we can discuss the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. This is from the chapter Chemical Kinetics. Thank you all. Bye. Brilliant Kata, your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Kata.